And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For our next deck, it's going to be an Ezreal Gangplank deck. We're going to be having a lot of spells that deal damage, and we are going to have different ways to um, get to make that to be more damage because we're going to be playing Petty Officer in here. That's going to be making Powder Keg. We have one Dreadweight Deckhand for Powder Kegs as well, but more so, we really have we have two Fun Smiths to have all of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. And then, of course, Dreadways. And we got three Dreadways in this deck, so it's really going Dreadway heavy. Now that Dreadway is just an 8-mana card instead of being a 9-mana card like it was before. So double all damage dealt by your, your skills, spells, and allies. So we're going to be trying to have Dreadway. And then we have a lot of like things that could do multiple uh, sets of damage. Right? Like Make It Rain deals 1 damage 3 times, but if you have a Funsmith, it, it's going to do 2 damage 3 times. If you have a Funsmith plus a Dreadway, then it would take the two and double it, so it would do four damage three times, and you know that gets pretty crazy. So that's what we're going to be trying here. It's cards like Static Shock, Make It Rain, all that kind of stuff. Also, Make It Rain does count as three targets if they are, um, you know, different enemies. You know, it says randomly targeted enemies, and so that can just be halfway towards leveling up in Ezreal by itself. How Ezreal needs you to target six plus times, Make It Rain gets you gets you halfway there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our deck. Going to be lots of damage and should be lots of fun. So let's go play some Ezreal Gangplank over and ranked. Hmm. All right, and the person that donated for this deck, I think they said that it won a tournament recently or did very well in a tournament. And so wanted to see it over in ranked here also. So I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know exactly whose deck this is. But it looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to be playing against... Uh, okay, yeah, one attorney. Cool. Playing against deep. I guess... I guess I just keep everything. I kind of like all this. I like Funsmith plus Make a Rain. Play that on turn four. We need to just do something. Turn three to use a little bit of mana. And Mystic Shot could be that. Jello Hunters. Man, see, I kind of want to wait on the Mega Rain for that. But I got to play something this turn. I mean, I guess I don't have to play anything this turn. A little adjustment for a lot of power. These aisles will be cleansed. All right, so Thermogenic Beam will do four. Be able to take that out. So that could be Devour Adepts. Yep, there's Devour. I'm going to discard this Riptide Rex, I think. Hopefully I don't end up needing that. I like just killing that. Hopefully we don't need end up needing Rex. I mean, maybe I should have discarded Gangplank. All right, now we get rid of the Jagged Butcher. All right, and finally some damage. Seventeen. But definitely happy that we've fought through two Devour Depths and a Maokai. You know, Joel Hunters. Oh, I didn't check to see if either of those were made by Joel Hunters. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't tell you. Hmm. Of 
Should eat the powder keg. Yep. Work, you dogs. There's... He's got ruination, I'm gonna be super sad. But this could be gangplank attacking for 10. Yeah, and, and hopefully, since we've had Devourers the last three turns, hopefully our opponent's out of Devourer. But they could still have another one. Because if Jaw Hunter has made one of these. What deck is TLC? Okay, Lissandra Trundle. Okay, I guess there is a fourth Devourer. So I can still play... I can still play all these next turn, right? Gangplank and then... Not going, not going for the Devourer on the Funsmith, so trying to get the Devourer on the Dreadway, it looks like. Now cost six mana. That's exact deep. I should just be going to the Nexus. I don't really know why I'm not going to the Nexus with that. Why am I not going to the Nexus with that? Alright, so that puts them down to two. So unless that last card is Vile Feast, I can kill them with the parlay. And that's just the line to do. That's just the line to do. I don't know why I didn't block the 6-6 six, six with my 4-4. Four, four. Because if I cast Make It Rain and like the Make It Rain just hits three of these things, it doesn't hit the Nexus. Um, then they play their Devourer and get rid of my uh, Funsmith, then that parlay doesn't kill them anymore. Okay, we got Jarvan Shen. Deck with Challengers is not great for Funsmith. I'm not exactly sure with the, the Funsmith Dreadway, does it work on Puff Caps? I know I've been told yes or no, but I always forget. Yes or no. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Okay, Dreadway works, Funsmith does not. So that's how it is. I am one with the land. Mervin! Thank you, Mervin. Gifting out some subs. Y'all get some hype in the chat. For our three new subs, we're going to have Mihail, Jern Simmons, and Nightstars. And three brand new subs to the channel. Awesome. Thank you, Mervin. Who goes there? The world's 
This is not a great Ezreal matchup because of Sharp Sight. And even like single combat. You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. One shot, all skill. So if they have Sharp Sight, they kill my Ezreal, but if they don't, we get free Mystic Shots. So hopefully they don't. Card they just drew. Good hand, good card. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. And crucified, getting us um. Thank you, Togrek. Very kind of you. Thank you. Three, four, five. Time for a true display of skill. Watch and learn. Fire and Cordag. Again, thank you so much, Sockrack. Got our sub goal today. Oh gosh. Yeah, their hand was awesome. Two one drops and a two drop, plus sharp sight for the first three turns, and then Shen, <laughs> uh, Screeching Dragon Jarvan. That is an awesome curve. All right, we gotta hope this hits Screeching Dragon. Yes. So it's hitting their Nexus, Shen, and Screeching Dragon. All right, now we need no no sharp sights, no single combats. Watch and learn. Uh, yeah. I don't miss. Man, their hand was great. You face a prince. That's a great hand right there. I'm GGs. Lucky. Well, I guarantee you our opponent will have a worse hand than last time. They're not going to have that perfect of a first six turns. However, we may also have a worse hand. Let's send it all back. This just seems like a tough matchup for us, though. Just, you know, the sharp sights are pretty brutal if they have... Um, if they have Shen and Screeching Dragon, like that, like Shen, Screeching Dragon, part of their deck are really large. Yeah, it just kind of looks like a tough matchup. I don't have anything to do. That's a terrible attack. seen that card before. The eye of twilight sees all. Man, I got nothing. All hands on deck. I definitely thought I hit the powder cake one. 
I guess I need to read them. I thought it was unit then powder keg. I didn't I didn't read it. It's just that by nature. Alright, that'll do. Alright, that that is rough. Alright, I don't think we want to play that matchup again. There's sometimes some cards just match up really well against some decks, and Shen. Shen's a card we just don't beat. That card matches up perfectly against us. Okay. I like this. I like Gangplank. I definitely really like Make It Rain um, in this matchup. They're going to have a lot of like 4-1s and stuff like that. 2-1s, 4-1s. That kind of stuff. Night flowers upon my blade. Lunari, rise! Cool, Static Shock. Because, yeah, yeah, basically Shen has the 5 health, which is really hard to deal with, but then also casts a 3-mana spell every time it attacks with the Prismatic Barrier. A very, very useful 3-mana three three spell also against us. Just makes life pretty tough. So I liked that uh, we knew I like that we knew that the Mega Rain was going to be killing those. I know I have the Static Shocks. So I think that they have Pale Cascade. Oh, okay. I guess not. I was willing to take two damage instead of three, because I thought that Pale Cascade was just a really high um, probability. And with having Static Shocks, we'd be able to finish off Diana afterwards. But I was willing to take that. Uh, I was willing to take that two damage. Probably the 3 1. Oh, the 2 3. I was thinking the, the 3 1 that would add mana back, but. It missed? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so those are the two cards that are the same. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Peaceful once. Once. Forgive me. Why are you here? So, do they have that pill cascade? Tune in tomorrow to find out. Oh, there it is. see passing, but then, like, attacking does help level up the gangplank. Now we get, uh, three out of five for gangplank. Skill. 
So I'm not too scared of Nocturne with having like these get excited and stuff. Oh, oh, I need to play first because that's going to level up. No, I should have played it first. Hmm. I don't have a powder keg still. Okay, well, that was bad by me. Alright, so that's eight damage. Put me down to four. A couple Doom Beasts could kill me. Powder Keg's on the left. I don't like that I can't play any spells if I play the Dreadway. Oh yeah, I wasn't even. Yeah, I guess I was. I didn't really consider um, atrocity. Can't stop me. So they're at eight. Let's put them down to five. I know I could go, I could try for lethal by, you know, shooting them, putting them down to five. Next turn going deckhand, get excited for five. But there's a lot of ways for them to heal for one. All right, we can still go for lethal. It's a good draw. So two of their cards are random nightfall cards. That were created. That was one of them. We go, we go, we and looks go. like that's the other. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. We were peaceful once. Cut them, cut them, kill them. More, more. All right, that'll do. That was very close. Probably closer than it should have been. But good old burn spells, they'll just bail you out sometimes. All right, two and two. Okay, playing against Demasi again, another sharp sight deck, but they're not playing Shen. So I'm very happy about that. Shivana is another four mana card that's more that's difficult to kill at times also. But it's not as hard as Shen. Let's go Morgan both those. Gangplank's at one. Almost pass. Kind of tired of my Ezreal's getting killed by Sharp Sight, and especially with this one with the gem. Don't really want that to happen. Hmm. I still have Sharp Sight mana. Let's see, 
Kind of tired of that card. Hard to get rich. Cool. Got a free two out of five for the gangplank. Very good. I found a home among the dragon guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. End them. Prepare for battle. To arms. You poor thing. I'll just go make it rain. Just see what happens. Okay. There's not really, you know, a bad option for the make it rain. So Ezreal's at three now. That is an annoying open attack. I won't be able to <clears throat> kill Shivana. So many sharp sights. Many sharp sights everywhere. So I've already played two. All right, no single combat. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. Don't really have anything to discard to this. Get excited, except for maybe the parlay. You've got to be kidding me. All three sharp sights? We played against three Demacia decks, and they've had seven sharp sights. And like, one of the games we, like, quit right away. They don't know what they're up against. <laughs> How do they get every single one? Some bad luck. The heavens diminish. The ocean herself will fear us. There's no finer sight. Really wish we had one mana. Really want to play this card. I'd level up Gangplank. I mean, if they have, I guess if they have, like, fight spells and stuff, I'm probably just going to be losing anyway. So I have to just try. Shouldn't that level up Gangplank? I guess Gangplank was only at three. I thought the Gangplank was at four. <laughs> only one at, only one at Aurelian Soul. I mean, I guess they have judgment. You don't just immediately pass like that whenever you have cards you can play. Unless you have judgment. Okay. We're still good. 
We just gotta get... Um... Just gotta draw Get Excited from the spray pen. Because just attacking with the 6-4, I don't know, allows them to play something, and, and I, liked, I liked them wasting all their mana. Now, obviously, another Rillian Soul is a little rough, but I liked them wasting all that mana. Uh, maybe I just play Gangplank. So as long as it's not Thermogenic Beam, we're going to be drawing something that does direct damage. The Spray Fin. Better not be... Better not be Thermogenic Beam. Anything else. Mystic Shot, get excited, make it rain, parlay. So they had the Judgment, played around it perfectly, and rewarded. Okay. Three and two. Okay, so yeah, I think our, our deck did look pretty solid, didn't it? Now, you know, I think that we have one bad matchup, Jarvan Shen, basically Shen. <laughs> Shen plus Sharp Sight. Plus all those free barriers, plus Screeching Dragon. Um, that's that's a real bad matchup. And so we saw that. We played against that twice, lost both of those. But we beat everything else, including beating that deck with a really... You know, like, they had turn 4 Shivana, They had turn 7 Eclipse Dragon. Turn 8 Aurelian Soul. They had all three Sharp Sights. They had a 3-2 Lifesteal that brought in a free 2-1 uh, Challenger. Right? Like, they had lots of stuff. Um, you know... Turn two Mountain Goat, turn turn three, three two Challenger. They had tons of stuff, and like I said, all three sharp sites, and we still won that game. We got pretty lucky, you know, like having Dreadway and it stayed around, and then Riptide Rex. And I think that that turn eight, or I guess it was turn nine, that turn nine that we played like the the Riptide Rex and everything, it really looked like they were just planning on Judgment, and that you know who knows maybe they could have had something else to like stop like the Dreadway combo, but maybe they just didn't have any single combats or concerted strikes, and so they were just gonna rely on that Judgment. And we played around that. All of Azrael's were dying to all their sharp sights, unfortunately. Oh man, we're up Ballistic Bot too, Ballistic Bot deck too. This card. Ballistic Bot's incredible. We never saw Ballistic Bot in any of those games, right? I think I guess we had it one time. I think like game one we had it, and I discarded it to get excited, like at the end of the game. One of those games we did. It's funny that we had just one Dreadway deckhand, but we had this Dreadway deckhand like almost every game, and we have the three Ballistic Bots, and we never had Ballistic Bot. That's pretty funny. But yeah, the deck looked pretty solid. I think that... Uh, yeah, I could I could see it, you know, doing well against a lot of stuff. Just try to try to avoid Shen <laughs> if you can. If you're playing this deck, just avoid Shen. All right, but that's it here for Ezreal Gangplank. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you try the deck out yourself, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of it. Um, you know, if you have been playing it because it won the tournament uh, that somebody mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, let me know how has it been going for you. Have you been able to avoid Shen <laughs> or anything else about the deck? Uh, love to hear it. All right, but that's all I got here for Ezreal Gangplank, like I said. So thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. And I will see you for the next video.